Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and today with another property. Another property of what? The properties that we are discussing that is the Fourier series or Fourier coefficients. So the next property is what? It's the Parseval's relation. Parseval's relation or it's also known as the Parseval's power theorem. So I would give a Parseval's relation heading over here and I would give the title of the video as Parseval's power theorem. So I would combine both of them, right? So what does this Parseval theorem says? This was uh, the name is of course after the scientist and I have his name somewhere. It was uh, Mark Arthuan Parseval or what he gave this theorem in 1799 something like that. Let it go. We are not interested in the history. What this theorem says is that if you have a signal x of t and the Fourier series exists for it. If you have x of t, the Fourier series exists for it and the Fourier coefficients are represented by a k, right? So this is the pairing of x of t with its Fourier coefficient. If it has a Fourier series representation. So you know that how to find the power, the average power of x of d, you know to calculate it, what you do is one upon t, the, the period, integrating over one period, let's say zero to t, the magnitude of the signal x of t is squared, the integration is with respect to t. You know that you do it like this. This is what? This is the average power of a signal x of t over one period. What, do you, what does Parseval has to do with this? Parseval says that you can find the average power of a signal by doing what? By taking the summation k running from negative infinity to positive infinity taking the absolute value of the Fourier coefficients and squaring them. This will give you the same result and this one, this will give you the average power of the system. Is that fine? Isn't it like this? Yes, it is. Fine. So can you prove it for yourself or may I do it? So let's say I will do it, okay? The Parseval's relation is as simple as it is. The average power can be computed by summing the Fourier coefficients, by summing the square of the magnitudes of all the Fourier coefficients, it would give you the average power. Let us prove it. Let us prove it. What do we have is, we know that x of t is equal to uh, the, the synthesis equation that we write. We know that x of t is equal to k running from a negative infinity to positive infinity, a k exponential of j k omega naught t, right? We know this, this is the synthesis equation, the basics of this topic. If I take the conjugate of it, if I take x conjugate of t, so what would this be? This would be k running from negative infinity to positive infinity, uh, a of negative k exponential of, uh, no, not negative k, a k is conjugate and now negative j k omega naught t. This is now the conjugate of this. Now what happens if I multiply x of t with x conjugate of t. If I multiply x of t with x conjugate of t, what do you think I would get? Yes? So, let's say we develop it. Let's say we develop this first. If I have, let's say, a complex number z, is equal, it is represented as a plus eta b. So if I have the z conjugate, it would be a minus iota b right and if i multiply z with its conjugate what would i get a multiply a would be an a squared then we have a plus iota b then we have a negative iota b and uh, so they would cancel out and then what you have is uh, this an iota squared negative iota squared b squared so what do you have is iota squared would be a negative one so you would have z into z conjugate would be an a squared plus b squared isn't it like this right or 
and this is one thing fine another thing that i could write is the the magnitude of z the magnitude of z is what you know it would be under the root a squared the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared or i can write that the the magnitude of z whole squared this is equal to a squared plus b squared is that okay so now have a look the right hand side of this equation is equal to the right hand side of this so won't it apply that the left of this would be equal to the left of this it will so what we were trying to get from this particular idea is that z multiplied with z's conjugate would equal the magnitude of z whole squared this is what we were trying to say the the, that any signal multiplied with its conjugate will give you what will give you the amplitude squared so x with this would give me will give me the, the the magnitude of x of t's whole square is that fine now now we know that that the power is given by what power is equal to 1 upon t integration over 1 period t the magnitude x of t whole squared with respect to t isn't it like this it is so what do i do is i put the values over here i say that my p is equal to 1 upon the time period t integration from 0 to t this value comes over here so i put the value x of t multiplied x conjugate of t and this is integrated with respect to t is that phi till here now what do i do now i do what that i have uh, this uh, you know uh, uh, where it is 1 upon t is as it is 1 upon t integration is as it is 0 to t x of t is as it is I put the value of x conjugate of t and what is that value this is this value so which means k running from negative infinity to positive infinity a k conjugate multiplied over here I would write it with an exponential of negative j k omega naught t and that dt was also remaining so I write the dt over here is that fine till here that should be now if you have a look so this thing summation uh, k running from uh, negative infinity and a k conjugate this is i believe outside of the integration yes you take this outside of the integration because this is uh, independent of t right so i could write that my power would be equal to what uh, uh, or, or, or let me do not write 1 upon t right yes I take the summation outside of the integration because it is independent so k running from negative infinity positive infinity a k conjugate this is independent right and now what do I have is I have a 1 upon t the integration over 1 period 0 to t x of t multiplied with an exponential of negative j k omega naught t and i have my dt and isn't it like this so have a look have a look i have got my a k conjugate over here if you have a look to this one isn't it a k isn't this the value of a k it is so what can i write is that my power would be equal to summation k running from negative infinity to positive infinity a k is conjugate and this particular thing is a k this particular thing this is a k so i could write it as a k so have a look again now we use this thing again that a k multiplied with an a k conjugate would give you the magnitude of a k squared so i could finally say that the power would be equal to summation k running from negative infinity to positive infinity the magnitude of a k whole squared and this is what the parseval's relationship is is that fine this is what we've got a proof this is the proof of it fine now if i if i say that we do an example over it so so let's say i consider a question i have it over here uh, you know the question is to find 
the p average p average if a k are shown if a k are shown as so what do i have is this is my k axis this is my a k axis so at zero the value is two at 1 it's 0, at a negative 1 it's 0, at positive 2 it's 4, at negative 2 it's 4, at negative 3 it's 0, at positive 3 it's 0 and, and so on it's 0. So we have to find the average power of it. So if you see you have to sum the Fourier coefficients from a negative infinity to positive infinity but have a look all of there all of them are 0. So if I say that if my k is from a negative infinity to negative 3 my a k is equal to 0 so I don't need this right then my a negative 2 is a of negative 2 is 4 this is 4 also fine a of negative 1 is again 0 a of 0 is 2 a of 1 is again 0 a of 2 is again 4 a of 3 now when k is from 3 to positive infinity again what happens is that my a k becomes equal to 0 so I only have a finite number of it so what do I need to have is to calculate the average power that is p average what do I need to do I need to take the magnitude of each and every one so which means the magnitude of a negative 2 that is 4 and squared plus a negative 1 is 0 magnitude squared 2 magnitude squared 0 magnitude squared plus 4 magnitude squared and that's it so 4 4 are 16 plus 2 twos are 4 and plus 4 4 are 16 so you get a 20 and you get a 36 so this is the average power that is you calculate with this particular way using the Fourier coefficients is that clear if you solve if you solve it by another method uh, that is by the Fourier uh, series method so let me write it over here fine so my method number two is let's say with the green color fine so how did we write x of t we know that x of t is summation k running from negative infinity to positive a k exponential of uh, negative or positive 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 j k omega naught t so now we write the, we expand this Fourier series only for those signal for those coefficients which are existing so what would I write is uh, a of uh, negative 2 is existing right so we have a negative 2 exponential of negative j2 omega uh, not uh, t yes 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 it's fine plus a negative 1 is 0 then you have a naught plus a naught and then you have a plus uh, a of 2 you have a 2 exponential of j2 omega naught t right so this is the case now you put in the values so a of negative 2 is 4 so you put a 4 times exponential of negative j2 omega naught t a naught is 2 plus again a2 is 4 exponential of j2 omega naught t what can i do is i can take the uh, 4 common so i can say that my x of t is equal to i would say 2 plus 4 is common exponential of negative j2 omega naught t plus exponential of j2 omega naught t so this is what i got now you have a look have a look this you know from your basic mathematics what sort of a signal is this this is a cos signal this is the dc term so you could write x of t is equal to 2 plus and how do you write it four times and this is equal to two times cos of 2 mega naught and let me check two times cos of 2 mega naught t yes this is two times cos of 2 omega naught t this particular signal this is 2 times cos of omega naught t you have a 2 so you have a 2 there you know how the proof is this is from basic mathematics the proof of this is not our concern this is a simple mathematical formula so now this 4 and 2 this would cancel uh, this would come out to be 8 fine and now you know how to calculate the power of the dc term so the power of the dc term is simply its uh, mag uh, it's, uh, it's squared right 
the power of a DC term. So I would write over here the power would be equal to uh, simply the square of this, right? And then what do you do is for a sinusoidal wave, you know that the power is equal to what the uh, the square of that uh, particular amplitude. The amplitude squared and this is whole divided by 2 this is how you calculate the average power of a DC term in this so now have a look this is the sum of these two the linear combination sort of so the power would also be the sum of these two powers and again have a look you have a 2 2 or 4 you have an 8 8 are 64 upon 2 32 32 plus 4 power average again comes out to be 36 so this 36 is the same as this 36 which means that the Parseval's relation that we developed was exactly accurate. So let's uh, you know see if I have any point in the book. Average power that is the energy per unit time in one period is what? Is nothing. Uh, this is the definition. The total average power in a periodic signal. The total average power in a periodic signal equals to the average powers in all of its harmonic components. So this is what we already have discussed. You know, and we have another relation, sort of another relation as well, I believe. And this is nothing of our concern. So they, basically, that was the Parseval's relation. Or yes. So that's it, okay. That's it. That's it for this video. That's all about the properties. That's all about the basics. Maybe in the next video we see some examples and after that we will move into the discrete time Fourier series. So see you in the next lecture with I don't know maybe examples, okay. Till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers and of course, of course, do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.